Hello, Shivan. Hello, everyone. Sorry for being late. Hello, Yi. What time is it for you? It's uh, eight in the morning. Oh, it's exactly eight in the evening for me in the East Coast. <laughs> okay. It's halfway around, so halfway are... around the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Hey everyone. If you, if you mean. Yeah. Hey, Vanny. Hi. Pritesh is here. Pritesh, uh, should we go ahead and start or E or uh, Shivai Femin? Yeah. Are you waiting for anyone? Uh, we are Samir join or will uh, Samir won't join today? Yeah, Samir is out. Out uh, is the, he will not be able to join. Yeah. Okay. How about Minin? Uh... Minin. I'm not sure about Milan. Let me ping him. Uh, but anyway, I, I think we can start. We're waiting for him. Uh, yeah, we can, we can get started. Yeah, we can start. Yeah, yeah from the agenda item, I, I added uh, several. Uh, the first uh, is that I want to <laughs> say thank you to Pradesh and also Shui's team for, for the great work uh, last week. There are several uh, PRs reviewed very, very efficiently and uh, in a very uh, characteristic way. Uh, we, we have offline chats and we, we send out this uh, Pradesh, prepare this presentation list for the PR review. It's very efficient. Uh, thanks. Uh, Thank you, Pratish. Thank you, Pratish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the first uh, first item. The second is uh, I, I want to ask uh, Shri uh, and also maybe Pratish anything anything we needed to add it to the. Uh, prioritize the uh, 
prioritize the PR list, sorry, in, in the PR review uh, select channel. Uh, we have that pin the list. Uh, do we need to do some updates? I no. think what I see is uh, 131. I think all reviews are complete and uh, we have to just merge. So post merge, I think uh, Pritesh has some work to be done on the notation side. Uh, it's a small change, but uh, uh, are we merging 131? PR 131. So I think there are two PRs pending there, which needs attention. I think one is like open uh, 131, which is already approved by me and Shiva. And then there is a follow -up PR in notation, which is still in draft stage. Uh, that is, uh, uh, that is, let me tell you, which is that? Is that 75? Uh, let me check that. Uh, checking. Not, not 75 is one with Kose envelope implementation. There, uh, I think it's pending reviews actually. Uh, that is uh, PR 75. The other one is uh, 357. So, uh, it's in notation. Okay, let's check that. It is the notation bump up uh, notation go libraries. I think uh, it is yeah. 70, uh, 57. Yeah. 357. So let me just ping the PR. This is the one, and the one more is I think 131, which I already know about. Know about that. And 131 and uh, 75. Two pending reviews, Pritesh. I think it, the pending review is between you and Melinda. Uh, uh, no, the PI is still in draft stage, so I'm not sure we need to move it out of draft stage before we start reviewing that. That is a different PI. That is Wait. 347. Yeah, 357. Yep. And uh, 131 is already approved. Yeah, 347 is tied to 357 because uh, you, the, David said that. Uh, 357 might resolve the 347. So 357, 70, 357 is what is in draft status. Okay. Yeah. So but 131. Let me ping you this. Yeah. So there's only two PRs are right now pending. One is like we need to merge 131 and then we need to review 357. This is also pending. What is this one? The, is this part of RC1? Uh, we no, it's alpha four. We can move this. We can do it after alpha four. Oh yeah, this is RC1. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think for uh, alpha four, uh, we already have uh, one five one uh, merge. So the uh, the uh, left one is owning the one three one. So if we can merge 131, then we can update the notation Go module file uh, for the notation Go dependency to use the latest commit and also uh -huh. update the notation Core Go uh, dependency for notation Go, uh, for notation. Then we can cut the, uh, the alpha 4 release. Uh, we won't be able to do that. Okay, let me just point. Uh, okay, so uh, we need uh, one 350, uh, 357 merge. Let me share the screen and then we can, I can go over that. Uh, so... Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm just opening the pull request. Notation. I don't even have them open here. So uh, 131 is the one I was talking about, which needs to be merged. And then after 131 is merged, uh, we need uh, 357, which is this one. Uh, basically, in uh, in 131, we are introducing some uh, 
non backward compatible changes so we will have to make some changes to notation cli package which is notation package uh, there's already a pr out by shiva stream but still in draft stage that's why i haven't reviewed it so we need to move it out of draft stage and then I, we can start reviewing that and when then we need to merge this and then yeah we can support self signed certificates and everything okay and I, I i made a comment on the 131 at the end and i also added the link to the comment in slack i mean i think i think it's just it sounds like um a, the uh Trillin needs to just add up update main uh and then we can merge that and then up, un, pull the other one out of draft and then update to the new commits of the notation go and then we're good we should be able to cut it and i would suggest uh right that we that we try and do if if we're all done and we think we're ready to cut alpha before that we just do an ad hoc dev release um so that we can all do the testing against it and then and then release it but because we're, you know it's just you need some time for that i guess so what, what are your thoughts uh so, on that so there's a problem right now with alpha 4 right now alpha 4 when i was testing locally alpha 4 doesn't use a trust or interest policy so there is a code, but uh, we haven't like done the plumbing work from notation to notation go. So like right now the verification in alpha, uh, alpha four will only use the old method, not trust to interest policy. No. No, 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 I get it. So I'm saying after those two, 131 and after the notation go, uh, notation client uh, updates to use the new libraries, then uh, it should even all after work, that, right? Even no, after that, it still won't work? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so what 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 is broken after okay, so, after the so, okay so for verification for trust or and trust policy so the, the earlier we had like basic verification where you just add the certificate and we just we used we used to use that for verification right but as a part of alpha four we wanted to introduce like trust or and trust policy for verification. So the code for trust and trust policy verification is there in notation go, but that's not being called from notation client uh yes uh, i think for alpha 4 we, we don't use the verify uh we, we don't support the verify using trust store and trust policy it will be post alpha 4 and the uh, the implementation is uh, is ongoing by bin bin uh but i think uh, 38 was uh, part of alpha 4 right we where the notation starts store experiences via the CLI command as part of the alpha four. Is that not true? Uh, what's the I experience? Uh, you you need this trust, trust store CLI, the new CLI experience. Uh, because uh, uh, in order for verify using trust store trust policy, we, we needed to have this uh, CLI experience for trust already and also the verify uh, the flow itself to use the uh, trust or trust policy but uh, that cannot uh, uh, be completed before alpha 4. yeah that's right so the, so the, yeah the, the plan is uh, post alpha 4. yeah the milestone is moved to rc1 based on our uh, meeting a couple of weeks ago for yeah. 38, yes, that's true. You're right. So just uh, to confirm, trust and trust policy based experience is not in alpha four. No, not not it's in not. alpha four. Okay. If you, yeah, if you check the planning board, the issues, the verify experience using trust store trust policy, the CLI experience for trust uh, for managing trust store is uh, is in RC one milestone. Oh, okay. Then I, then I missed it. Sorry, my bad. Uh, no That's... problem. Yeah, I would. I would just yeah. say. I would just say that if there is a, you know, if there's a point where we can, after Alpha Four, where we can have the, the end-to-end -end experience working a little more, even if it's pretty all the things we have in RC One, we might consider uh, a beta or some other milestone. Um, 
an interim, but let's, I guess we'll just see. Yeah. Uh, yes, actually the implementation is already started. So we just wait for alpha four, then we can uh, merge the code uh, into uh, the main branch. Then maybe we can cut another uh, release because we, we have a weekly dev build, right? We can also leverage that the dev build to, to have this function. So, so uh, once 131 is merged, uh, Pritesh, uh, there is a change, uh, a small yeah. change though, but we have to recompile, right? Notation. And then will it be okay to do it by Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. I think the only thing that's is this is the release process now. Yeah. Um, you know, you, I would, I would probably because we're, it sounds like two PRs away from the alpha four. I would, I would probably start the release process. Um, and it doesn't. I mean, I don't think it makes sense to gate on us doing the automated releases. I know I filed that issue up there, but we agreed on that for RC one. So for now. Um, you know, we could, it sounds like you and Samir are interested to kind of go through the process again. I know you yes. did it all last time, but um, if you want to take the lead on that and we can help, uh, does that sound like kind of what you had in mind? I have not been here based on the first uh, uh, go, based on the walkthrough the first time, David, so I'll just see how much uh, Samir is uh, comfortable based on that. Uh, we can take the lead, uh, else probably this is one more time you might want to take the lead and we can see where to document it and all that, yeah. Yeah, I don't know uh, if it makes, I mean, there's. I don't think it makes sense to necessarily document it if we're doing a manual release and then we're also gonna change the process anyway for RC1. So I don't, right. I don't think that makes sense, but, uh, I mean, it's yeah, the release awesome. process for the release process for the APIs. I mean, in my opinion, ideally would be done before you release the notation client, because then that way, when you update the go.mod file, you could actually reference the release version of the of the library versus the commit version. Exactly. Um, yeah. And yeah. so, and so, I I would just argue that after one thirty one is done, I mean. I, I believe it sounds like we could go ahead and just release alpha four of notation go and notation core go. Uh, yes, David, I agree yes. with you. Yes. Uh, one, yeah. one, three, one is the only PR left for uh, the library. So once, once we one uh, is merged, we can uh, release the, the library notation go. And also right. the notation Corgo for Alpha Four. Notation Corgo is technically ready to go now, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, um, okay. Yeah. I mean, so so there. I think we're still going to continue the process of filing an issue of which commit. So I would just say, like, um, you know, that could be done now on Notation Corgo if you want to learn how to do that. Um, or you, or you just want us to do it? I guess that's the only question because it's, I love the material. it's not too much. Yeah, I think, uh, uh, you know Rani, when you're, you're uh, yeah, if you know. want to, want to try it. this release so the process or Samia want to try it, uh, Simon from our I side can support you on how to so release many. the libraries and later the notation uh, COI. But if you don't want to try it, and I think well, we, we can just uh, take over it and release the uh, uh, libraries and the CLI. Um, yeah, Vani and uh, everyone out there, I think we can uh, document every steps in this release checklist document. And uh, uh, <laughs> if anyone uh, from the release team who want to drive the release, uh, they can uh, follow they can follow this document and uh, complete the rest of steps to release to cut a new release. So don't worry about the 
uh, the process or uh, any blocking issues. So if if we uh, merge the last PR and we think it's ready to cut the release, we just need to we just follow this document and I will uh, update it with the detailed process, detailed steps. Right. Yeah. We did look yeah. into this uh, release checklist. Yeah. So if you if you are comfortable to uh, drive the Alpha 4 release with Samir, I can provide support and update this document for you guys. Yeah. Sure, Feng. Uh, we can, we can, I'll ping you on the uh, other uh, chat so that we can, uh, we can see what timing works for you and we can work it around. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite easy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, Pritesh, that means our testing is good uh, until what we tested, so we can pr proceed. Yeah, I think we tested self science, yeah. so that should be good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's nice. For, for what it's worth, we do have an in end test up there in PR review. Um, I mean, that'd be nice to have, but not necessary. Uh, but if, I mean, if we go ahead and merge those, we could, we could add in um, the automated test for the release also, since they're already there and for all prs can you please share the pr number i can take a look so i just get lost between the so many open prs I... yeah i hear you i know rc1 yeah. i think david sometime we have to sit uh, for rc1 and then we need to just look into a couple of stories because they have the same dependent issues on them so it looks like it is cross-referenced in both, especially the 240 and 245. When we talk about notation plugin extensibility for sign and verify, and notation plugin list itself kind of ties to 230. So something we can, I don't want to deviate, but that is something we can also look into as part of our system. Sure. I think else you want to talk about? I think we have covered everything on the agenda. What is two three thirty eight is the notation end to end testing? Yeah, this is what. Uh, hmm. Money, you have a couple of more extra agenda items. Alpha four, you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, guess I think we have covered everything before so that. $10,000 worth of So the other thing is uh, um, as part of Alpha 4, um, Samir has uh, pulled in the release notes. Um, so the system release notes for Notary V2. Um, so if anyone wants to go and look into that and uh, call out if there is anything that needs to be added or modified, uh, we can uh, just if you can send the uh, feedback on the channel that would help. Do you have a link for the release notes? Yeah, I, I do have the link for the release notes. Can so. you please share here? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, if we don't have anything else, I mean, I think we can we can close out. I don't know. Uh, I know there's, there's the number of things on there, but I don't know. Um, I mean, I think it's just do we have do we maybe want to re like post in the P, in the Slack channel for notation yeah. PR reviews, like the, yeah, the, right. the priority list of, of PRs. I mean, I, I think we're good on 131. And then like, you know, you, like, again, Vanny, you need to tell us if, if you want to release it or not and um that way that can you can do that on notation core go and notation go uh after 131 is merged and uh and then that way we could update the pr for notation to do the final alpha 4 release sure sure uh david one last thing uh 
this part of it, like 183, uh, this talks about the tag name, uh, the main commit for the release and, uh, you know, cut branch name with the tag and other uh -huh. things. Yep. So this is all release itself, right? Uh, no, so that so that what, issue what is, is just a that issue for the release thing is really mm. just a, a process. Uh, oh, okay. For for the release, it's not the actual release. It's just a it's like a just a procedural, letting people know that this is what it what it's going to be. Oh, um, okay. So it's kind of I do think that we should reevaluate the need for that once we have an automated release process. In my sure. opinion, it's like. It, it's kind of, I would say, just to eliminate that part, and and then just since you have the two approvals anyway, it's like that's fine, and just use that as the the final thing. Um, but for now, it's, I mean, it is still part of the part of the process. Uh, sure. Sure. You file the issue for, hey, we're doing an alpha four release, and you'd have to do that for all three repos, and then say the commit name, and um, yeah. Just so there's so nobody's surprised. I don't think there should be anybody surprised, but that's yeah. the process today. Sure, sure. I just wanted to make sure that you did not have anything else in mind because I was thinking uh, something different when I looked into that. Thank you. Uh, I also uh, posted another yeah, that's uh, meaning. We, we need a meaning help to review is about the sign spec. Uh, so actually after this sign spec reviewed and merged, uh, I, I have several other uh, specs related to other commands. Sure, I there will ask. be more PR to be. Uh, to be yeah, I'll ask Melinda to take a look at this one. Yeah, I think uh, in one of the, mm, I think same, uh, notation cert CLI command. I think I left some of the comments in there. I think it's all right, but I think it's just a copy paste kind of thing. So everywhere it is like uh, the same commands, but the description says it is uh, it's different. Verify, push, pull, those kind of things. So did you happen to take a look at that as well? I can send it. Oh, yeah, you. Uh, it's that uh, notation third command, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in that same uh, CLI spec, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you left the comment on on the Hackdown Mac. Uh, yeah, correct. Markdown file page. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. HackMD. Right. Yeah, that's right. I'm not sure whether it. Uh, notifies you if I leave the command there. I'm not sure about that. Because uh, it looks like a documentation kind of command comment. So I don't think Git is going to notify as such. I'm not sure though whether you received or not. Uh, no, I, I didn't receive it. So, yeah, that's so what you, you can pay me in, sure. in the Slack sure. uh, as well. But for the markdown, that uh, uh, the document on that website will be uh, will be copied uh, to the GitHub repo and create a PR. So later you can also review it. Sure. Is there anything else we want to discuss? I think uh, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Uh, I want to ask Shui whether any any PR you want to uh, you you want to Pritesh to pay attention to, or there will be new PRs created after Alpha Core Cut. Uh, just those closed APRs, so we need them to be merged. It has been there for a long time. Yep, I will take a review after Alpha Four. I will take, I'll move on to the next one on on to closed APRs. Yeah, by the way, uh, four folks in China will be out uh, for next week uh, because of the public holidays. Got you, okay. 
Yeah, I also I have this item in the agenda. Uh, there is upcoming uh, public holiday in China, so Beeman, I should wait. The, the China dev team will be off for the next whole week. So if you think of anything uh, you, you need us to do, uh, maybe we can uh, take some actions this week. Cool. That's uh, all. Yeah. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, we, we can uh, keep this communication offline uh, this week. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's on okay. 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 I Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, if there's nothing else to discuss, I'll even guess the 30 minutes back. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 Right, it's my right of right to turn right, yeah. Are you still